Joe? Vanessa. Yeah, Joe Valencia. You still driving that same raggedy ass car? What, what happened? You just gave up, huh? And this your dad. You know me and him used to be real intimate back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, I could have been your mama. But clearly I'm not. Yeah. I have literally never seen this many Filipinos in the same place before. We're sending gifts to our family in the Philippines. I'm sending this brand new hair dryer. Wow. If it makes your hair look like that, I wouldn't send it. How dare you? How dare you? We should put them both in the box and ship it. What's up, you guys? It's Nakaya Black with Black Tree TV. I'm here at the world premiere of Easter Sunday. Tiffany Haddish, Joe Coy, all of your faves. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, go, go, oh, oh, there we go. Thermotype Thurlow, please. Thermotype I'm excited to support my friends. I love this theater. I've been to many premieres here at this theater. And one day, do they even put new bricks on it? Okay, well, maybe one day I'll get one of those. He's wearing a Jollibee t-shirt. See, oh. I gotta talk to this man. That's right. Yeah. Do you love Jollibee? I love Jollibee, man. Yeah, give me what? They got that gravy rice? Is that? Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I'm hungry. We're not talking about it. Yeah, well, yeah. Is that official merch? I, I Is this it. the Jollibee social <laughs> channel? Oh, Jollibee yeah. Studios here? Yeah. yeah. Big fan. Me too. Big fan of you. No, thank you. Um, how was it doing this film with a joke? How'd you get the gig? Oh, it's amazing, man. You know, it started off like from day one, you know, Dan Lin and Joe approached us, uh, my, me and my production company, Crab Club, uh, to come and craft the script based on just Joe's story, you know. Um, so I was first involved as an AP, as a producer, and then, you know, I wanted to play even a bigger part in the movie, but my schedule couldn't work out, but I was so glad to still be a part of the movie on screen and, and behind the scenes, you know. But you look absolutely amazing tonight. Thank you. Thank yes. You. So tell us a little bit about your character. I play Tita Teresa, which is um, Joe's mom's arch nemesis. And there's a lot of fighting in it, but there's also a lot of love. But I think it's uh, fighting that will make you laugh. So um, run and see this movie if you want to laugh. That's all I can say. So in the trailer, I see that you're very spicy, very raw. Is that the typical Filipino auntie? Is that what you're channeling? Well, I mean, some. I mean, it's, I'm very, I'm a lot for myself. You know, you can tell by the way I dress in the movie and here. Um, so it's sort of like the way she sees herself is very different from the way her sister sees herself. And so there's always going to be a friction. She's very conservative and buttoned down and, you know, I'm not. So it's uh, it's going to cause rifts. And we see how we, uh, food is theater, it's art, and we want to one-up each other with our food also and with our dress also. So there's always going to be a chance for a conflict between these two different types of people. Um, I play Tita Yvonne, so I'm one of the aunties. There's like a little chorus of titos and titas from the uh, extended family who, who love to like comment and listen in and find out what's going on and, uh, and find out, you know, who you're dating, what's going on, like, you know, like the, they call it chismis. Uh, in, in uh, Tagalog, so who likes, who likes to do a little gossip, but also just wants to like have a good time and, and celebrate and uplift each other. So you guys were giving off a little spicy auntie. Can you tell us some? Is, is that you channeling your inner self, or is that just part of the character? You know, I love to channel. I, I when I was working on it, I actually was channeling my mom. Yeah, my mom passed away when I was 17. And my, sorry to get so emotional, um, but I remember my cousins would talk about her, and I, I still remember her, but you know, my cousins were like, she was our favorite auntie. She would come in the room, and she would just light up the room. She would whip off her glasses, and people would take pictures of her. She would want to like start the singing, start the dancing. So as when we were creating this family, and I was creating this character, I thought of my mom, and I thought about, you know, how she would walk into a room and just light it up. And um, I hope that comes up on screen, and I hope, you know, I hope she sees that in this My mom is at war with my Tita Teresa, and they don't even know why. Did you really have to wear the same dress as my mom? Oh. I can't help it if I wear it better. This is war. Oops. Family is a mess. We're counting on you to fix it. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all we got. So let's get the party started, baby. I got to see you. How are you? What's your name? I'm Fernando. Fernando. Awesome. Nice Austin. to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look, you look like a 
million dollars. Yes, Thank you so problem. much. Thank you. I like this shirt, though. What, what That's is, what legit. Is that, what does this mean to you? Jollibee. Uh, it, to me, it means Koreatown. It means uh, Asian American culture. It means uh, it means delicious. It is. It really you know? Is. It's the number one Filipino fast food. Is it really? Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. What a mascot. You're not you're not doing fast food unless you have a mascot. Gotta, what exactly is that? He's a bee. He's a bee. Okay. A jolly bee. He's a jolly bee. Got it, bee. got it, got it. The red kind of throws me yeah. off. And he drives a BMW. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. <laughs> what if I just left? <laughs> it would be the right thing to do. <laughs> So you play a mean guy in East Side? Yeah, real bad guy, Dev Deluxe, uh, real uh, dirtbag, and it was just a dream to play, you know? It was so fun playing an evil guy. You get to play around, you get to think of the worst things to say to people, and it's fine because it's in character. And uh, yeah, we had a blast. Lou, what's up, bro? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. It's been a minute. Uh, it has been. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I've from, been in New York for a while, so there you go. I know you from back from Chatsworth Powerhouse. Right, House. exactly. Okay. We both Which, had long hair. And it doesn't exist there anymore, no, it does it? No. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great gym. Yeah. yeah. It's too bad. Show. Dr. Dre was there, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. All the time, yeah. I mean, you know, and, and a lot of porn stars, which was, <laughs> that made things interesting. I said that. I was telling my friend earlier. You know what? You know you've made it until you play yourself in a film. You know, it's weird, man. You know, it's, uh, you know, one of those iconic moments, you know, you're in the zeitgeist. Uh, and, and what's fun about this is that, you know, it's not Nick Cage meta, but it's up there. Uh, it's not the first time I've played myself. Yeah, I played, yeah, I played myself in Cougar Town, uh, You're the Worst, and another little uh, film short called uh, uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamond. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just bizarre because uh, so many of my characters have, have, have uh, been icons unto themselves, you know. I'm not as cool as the characters I play. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but but you know, to, to to realize that you know, people have certain assumptions or they identify with me in a certain way, and it's and it's kind of fun, you know, to, to make a little fun of that. No doubt. Um, I've interviewed you before, and you told me you're Tejano. Yeah, I was at a time. Yeah. Oh, you were. You changed. Well, I haven't I haven't lived in Texas for thirty something years. So okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up in Corpus Christi, you know, uh, and. Uh, 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 my dad still lives down there. I get back every once in a while, but you know, I've, I've been in, I've been in uh, LA and uh, New York uh, uh, mostly, you know, recently. But I'm you know I'm still tied with the Texas roots. Gotcha. Ever eaten a Jollibee? Um, you know, I believe I have, but it's been a long time. Yeah, but you know what? In in Manila, I ate I ate at one of those in Manila. When I, Tia and I went over in 2004, uh, we had done uh, a lot of work for the Filipino war war veterans. Uh, to get their benefits back, and we went over in uh, Gloria Macabagal Arroyo, the, uh, the the president at the time, uh, threw us a wonderful, uh, you know, celebration. G- uh, gave us uh, some nice citations. Uh, so yeah, we had we had a great like week in Manila, uh, and that was the last time I've been back. Why did Joe Koy have you in this film? Do you have do you know the reason? Um, well, I mean, <laughs> you're making me to my own horn here, man. Because, uh, I mean, he said it uh, a bunch of times, and some of the other cast have said it. It's like I was sort of the first Filipino to break through in Hollywood, you know, uh, uh, playing everything but Filipino, but, you know, to, to be up on the big screen. And, and for Joe, that was an inspiration. And it means a lot to me that, you know, that it touched him, that it motivated him, inspired him. Uh, and, and, you know, I, it was, it's, it's a little bit of a shout out to the OG to, you know, ask me to be a part of the movie. No doubt. Can't wait to watch it. And uh, love seeing you, man. You too, brother. Take care, right? Uh, Let me get a quick pic with you. Sure. Cool? I haven't seen you in a long time.